Leadership is about grappling with huge issues. There are no right answers. And what this seminar has taught us, we've read modern works of philosophy that grapple with questions like, what is justice? When does liberty outweigh equality? These issues are things that you don't get to decide once you're in a leadership position and have to make the calls. So it's a fabulous opportunity to really reflect on what values drive us and what values are important for a modern society. Coming from a biology background, philosophy is not something that I have ever read before the way we've been reading it for the last two days. What I have found most striking about the seminar is the way that um, policies and uh, political theory and morality and philosophy can actually relate to biology and the career that I want to pursue. So what I really enjoy is the conversations that we're really having and also looking at how things have changed and remained the same throughout history, how people have always thought about the concept of leadership, what authority is, and really getting perspective from people from all over the world. It's just been an amazing opportunity to share my opinion but also gain a lot of expertise from other people. I think what it was like for my deeper mind in that limestone And when I feel like there's a thousand people watching me I relish the freedom I have that Beagle never got to see We don't stop now, we don't stop now We stay on top now, but we never say we made it That's why I'm top of my class at the university Cause they died just so I So my first impressions of Oxford would be absolutely charming. When we were doing the walking tour, one of the things that struck me was that as an old city with philosophers and great thinkers and people like Einstein and Fleming who roamed the same streets, it's inspiring that you could be that very same person in your own generation. So having arrived in Oxford just a couple of days ago, that's my first impressions is that it's an absolute whirlwind. Um, coming to your college and, and settling in and getting into your room and then walking up and down the main streets and walking around and looking at all the seeing all the colleges and the, the spires and all the old buildings, it's absolutely amazing. It's pretty much everything I thought it would be and more. I believe that later on in my life the Weinfeld Hoffman scholarship will be seriously a priceless experience. It's always been my dream, it has always been my ambition to come to this very prestigious university. I was prepared to fight on the beaches. I was going to make it all the way here. And the generous donors and Lord Weidenfeld have made that dream a reality for me today. This weekend though, as somebody who's always thought of herself as a leader, has shifted kind of my sentiments, my thinking about what leadership is. because. The seminars we've had this weekend have charged me to think about leadership less as something I ought to pose for and present myself as, but as a higher calling. That means that my time here won't just be a study in African studies, but will be a period in which I need to cultivate those higher and greater moral characteristics. <laughs>